the joy of giving. Anna was a generous girl who loved to help others. She volunteered at a local orphanage every weekend and brought gifts and toys for the children there. She also donated her old clothes and books to charity. She believed that giving was more important than receiving and that sharing her blessings with others made her happy. She always had a smile on her face and a kind word for everyone. She wanted to do something special for Christmas, so she decided to organize a fundraising event at her school. She asked her classmates and teachers to donate money or items that could be used as presents for the orphans. She also made posters and flyers to promote the event and spread awareness about the orphanage. She worked hard and enthusiastically for weeks, hoping to raise enough funds and collect enough gifts. She was delighted when she saw the results of her efforts. She had raised more than $5,000 and gathered hundreds of toys, clothes, books, games, and other items. She thanked everyone who had contributed and helped her. She packed everything neatly in boxes and bags, ready to be delivered to the orphanage on Christmas Eve. She couldn't wait to see the joy on the children's faces when they opened their presents. She asked her parents if they could drive her to the orphanage with all the donations. They agreed and praised her for being such a wonderful daughter. They loaded everything into their car and drove towards the orphanage. On their way, they saw a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk with a sign that said, Please help me. Anna felt sorry for him and asked her parents if they could stop for a moment. They did so and Anna got out of the car with one of the boxes. She approached the man and said, Merry Christmas. I have something for you. She opened the box and showed him what was inside, a warm sweater, a pair of gloves, a hat, a scarf, some socks, some cookies, some candy canes, and a card that said, You are not alone. The man was speechless. He couldn't believe that someone would give him such a generous gift. He looked at Anna with gratitude and tears in his eyes. He said, Thank you so much. You are an angel. God bless you. He hugged Anna gently and took the box from her hands. Anna smiled back at him and said, You're welcome. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. She returned to her car with her parents. They continued their journey to the orphanage with one less box but one more heart filled with joy. The Gift of Friendship Leo was a lonely boy who had no friends at school. He was shy and quiet, and often bullied by the other kids. He spent most of his time reading books or playing video games by himself. He wished he had someone to talk to, someone who would understand him and accept him for who he was. He dreamed of having a true friend. One day, he saw an advertisement for a pen pal program that connected students from different countries through letters and emails. He decided to sign up and hoped to find a friend overseas. He was matched with Mia, a girl from England who shared his interests and hobbies. They started exchanging messages regularly and soon became close friends. They told each other about their lives, 
their families, their cultures, and their dreams. They learned new words and expressions from each other's languages. They also sent each other pictures, videos, and gifts. Leo felt happy whenever he received a message from Mia. He felt like he had finally found someone who cared about him and appreciated him. He looked forward to meeting her someday. Mia felt the same way about Leo. She enjoyed their conversations and their friendship. She wanted to see him in person and hug him. After a year of correspondence, they got the chance to meet when Mia's school organized a trip to Leo's country as part of an exchange program. They were both thrilled and nervous at the same time. They arranged to meet at a park near Leo's school on the first day of Mia's arrival. Leo waited anxiously at the entrance with a sign that said, Welcome Mia. He recognized her immediately when she stepped out of the bus with her classmates. She ran towards him with a big smile on her face and embraced him warmly. He hugged her back tightly and felt tears in his eyes. They looked at each other and smiled. They didn't need words to express how they felt. They knew they had found the gift of friendship. The Adventure of a Lifetime Sam was a curious boy who loved to explore new places and learn new things. He was always looking for opportunities to travel and have fun. He had a dream of visiting every continent in the world and seeing their wonders. He wanted to experience different cultures, languages, foods, and landscapes. He had already been to Europe, Asia, and Africa with his parents when they went on business trips or vacations. He had seen many amazing sights and met many interesting people. He was eager to visit the other continents, North America, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. He hoped to do so someday. One day, he received an email that changed his life. It was from a travel agency that offered him a chance to join an expedition to Antarctica as part of a contest. The email said that he had been randomly selected from thousands of applicants who had entered the contest online. He had forgotten that he had done so a few months ago when he saw an advertisement on a website. The email said that he had won a free ticket to join a group of scientists, explorers, and adventurers who were going to Antarctica for two weeks. They would fly from his country to Argentina and then board a ship that would take them across the Drake Passage to the Antarctic Peninsula. They would visit various research stations, wildlife colonies, icebergs, glaciers, volcanoes, and other attractions along the way. They would also participate in various activities such as hiking, skiing, kayaking, camping, and more. The email said that he had 24 hours to confirm his acceptance of the prize or it would be given to someone else. It also said that he needed permission from his parents if he was under 18 years old. Sam couldn't believe his eyes. He was overjoyed and excited. He had always wanted to go to Antarctica but never thought it would be possible. He quickly called his parents and told them about the email. They were surprised and skeptical at first but after checking the validity of the offer they agreed to let him go. 
They were proud of him for winning such a rare opportunity and happy for him for fulfilling his dream. They helped him pack his bags with warm clothes and essential items. They also gave him some money and advice for his trip. They drove him to the airport where he met with the representatives of the travel agency who gave him his ticket and introduced him to his fellow travelers. They were people of different ages, backgrounds, nationalities, and professions who shared Sam's passion for adventure and discovery. They boarded their flight together with their guides who briefed them on what they could expect during their journey. Sam waved goodbye to his parents who wished him good luck and told him they loved him. He buckled up his seatbelt and looked out of the window as the plane took off into the sky. He felt nervous but also thrilled. He knew he was about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. 